For Karen Itzel, singing in the family's Christian band was a source of great joy, but that joy was suddenly taken away by COVID-19. Not only did I have it, but I had pretty serious pneumonia in both lungs. Karen would remain on a ventilator for the next 17 days as School of Medicine doctors fought to save her life. So Karen, like most of the patients we care for in the medical ICU, had acute respiratory distress syndrome. Um, she had opacities in her lungs from the COVID virus. She was heavily sedated, requiring neuromuscular blockade or paralytics. Karen's family was still able to talk to her every day. Once they introduced the idea of the, the iPad and the Zoom calls, that was such a blessing. While I was just sleeping and lying there, they would talk and uh, try to say things that I would want to hear. And they decided one day to sing a song. What heights of love, what depths of peace. And it's a song that I've known for a long time and I know it quite well. And as soon as they started singing it, something in me, it spoke to my soul. I just um, started to respond to that. And I remember, I knew that they had sung to me that day and I cried. But would Karen ever sing again herself? Or were her vocal cords too damaged by the breathing tubes that kept her alive? As her condition improved, Karen's husband kept their fans up to date on social media. We wanted to uh, introduce a very, very special, special guest. Hi, everybody. <laughs> She's home. Yes, I'm so excited to be home. And I just want to thank everybody. Sorry. Thank you so much for your prayers. It's just meant so much to me and it got me through knowing that so many people were praying for me. Recovering at home now, Karen is getting stronger every day. On the day of our visit, Karen received a report on her vocal cords. I got some really good news today and I had a scope to look at my vocal cords and there's no damage at all. And so we were there when Karen sang again for the first time. This cornerstone, this solid ground. It was the same song her family sung to her in the hospital. To the doctors and nurses, I would say thank you for not giving up and for having patience and kindness. They just were so faithfully good to me at the hospital and I would say that they should be very encouraged because they've impacted me in a beautiful way. I stay.